thank you everybody so much for being here. It is really a delight. This is such a beautiful hotel. It's my favorite hotel in the world. And I am so thrilled to be here with one of the indubitably greatest entertainers of our time. The screenwriter, novelist, producer, director. Great. Lord Fellows of West Stafford, as he's uh, better known, Julian Fellows, of course. Welcome. Well, that was very nice of you to say so. When did you first <laughs> realise that you wanted to be an entertainer? We were brought up to go to films all the time and we would talk about films and we would discuss them when we were children. And so I decided to get myself into drama school without telling my parents. On my last day at university, my mother came to collect me and she said, now, have you given any thought to what you're going to do next. So I said, I'm going to be an actor. I've got myself a place at Weber Douglas, which is a drama school. And then she said, don't tell your father. I'll tell him. And she waited until at the end of the summer, and I was going to be away for eight weeks before I saw them again. She turned to my father and said, Julian's going to be an actor. And of course, nobody can be angry for eight weeks. It's not <laughs> possible. So by the time I saw him again, he'd got over it. It was a great motivator because, you know, the moment everyone is expecting you to fail at something, you feel you must succeed. And boy, did Gosford Park swim. So tell yeah. us about that. Gosford was my miracle break. People always say, oh, do you wish it had happened when you were 30 instead of 50? I don't think I would have had the nerve when I was 30 that I had when I was 50. As Downton's number one super fan, I didn't know that I needed it in my life as much as I did. And I think everyone felt that, that it really did chime with something that we all just needed. Do you think that was luck or were you sort of exploiting, building on a, on a public mood that you felt was out there? I mean, it's odd really, because in life I'm quite pessimistic, but in, in writing I tend to be fairly optimistic and I take uh, the view that most men and women, on the whole, are doing their best. And I think that that was the philosophy that guided Downton. Why was this show going down like this in all these countries? I don't know. It had a kind of, I think, a sort of decency about it that was quite appealing in a very unstable period of our history. We're living in an era which is the sort of final end of Victoria, Imperial Britain, the way we were all educated 40 years ago. And when we're not completely sure we like the look of this new world in certain ways, but it's changing. And I think Downton was a sort of antidote to that in a way. I think people find a sense of place in the same way that here we are in this beautiful hotel and there's, you know, Rosewood hotels all over the globe people come to as well. There is a sort of comfort created in what you do, in what Rosewood do. So thank you so much, Julian Fellows, for all of the hours and hours of entertainment that you've provided for us and oh. all the hours you will still yet provide for us. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.